Let us proceed in peace. In Christ's name, amen. Here is a wise virgin from among the number of the prudent who went forth with a lighted lamp to meet Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome to Mass this morning on this Friday morning. Today is the memorial of St. Margaret Mary Alico, who um, continues in our um, journey with female saints. Yesterday we had St. Teresa of Avila, um, from the 16th century, and today Margaret Mary Alico from the 17th century. Both were mystics, um, both were great um, teachers and great lovers of Jesus Christ. This morning's Mass is offered um, for the repose of the soul of Roger Rowland, um, whose um, 10th anniversary of passing occurs today. Um, Roger um, is the father um, of, of Vicky, um, who does uh, most of our live streaming on a daily basis, so we and pray especially with Vicky today and uh, with her extended family on this 10th anniversary. Let's acknowledge now our failings and repent of our sins. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour out on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit with which you so remarkably endowed St. Margaret Mary, so that we may come to know that love of Christ, which surpasses all understanding, and be utterly filled with your fullness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. It is in Christ that we were claimed as God's own, chosen from the beginning under the predetermined plan of the one who guides all things as he decides by his own will. Chosen to be for his greater glory, the people who would put their hopes in Christ before he came. Now you too in him have heard the message of the truth and the good news of your salvation and have believed it. And you too have been stamped with the seal of the Holy Spirit of the promise, the pledge of our inheritance, which brings freedom for those whom God has taken for his own to make his glory praised. The word of the Lord. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp, with a ten-string lute sing him songs. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. Alleluia, alleluia. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The people had gathered in their thousands so that they were treading on one another. And Jesus began to speak, first of all, to his disciples. 
Be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees. That is their hypocrisy. Everything that is now covered will be uncovered and everything now hidden will be made clear. For this reason, whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in the daylight. And what you have whispered in hidden places will be, will be proclaimed on the housetops. To you, my friends, I say, do not be afraid of those who kill the body and after that can do no more. I will tell you whom to fear. Fear him who after he has killed has the power to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Can you not buy five sparrows for two pennies and yet not one is forgotten in God's sight? Why, every hair on your head has been counted. There is no need to be afraid. You are worth more than hundreds of sparrows. The Gospel of the Lord. Particularly challenging gospel. Um, Jesus is telling us about to, to not be afraid. Not to be afraid of death, not to be afraid of judgment. Today's saint who we celebrate, Saint Margaret Mary Alico, lived in the 17th century in France. Yesterday we celebrated Saint Teresa of Avila, who lived a hundred years um, prior in, in Spain, about a thousand kilometres from where Margaret Mary was. And Saint Therese St. Teresa of Avila, who we, we thought about yesterday, um, was about trying to bring us to very much an experience of the heart and then the, of union with God and that we're on a journey deeper into the castle of God's kingdom. So Margaret Mary Alico, um, she had a, a great connection with the heart of Jesus Christ. And throughout her life, she she came deeper and deeper into that deep love of, of Jesus Christ. And she promoted what then became known, as, and what has become known as the devotion to the sacred heart of Jesus. Almost every single church you go into in this country, and in many other countries as well, you'll find a statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary, as we have here. And you'll also see a statue of the sacred heart of Jesus, which we have over the other side. And that's because of St. Margaret Mary Alico. If you go to churches uh, built prior to the 17th century, prior to today's saint, you're probably not going to see the Sacred Heart of Jesus um, statue maybe at all in the church, or if you do, it might be hidden down in some side altar um, because it was maybe, uh, it arrived in the 18th or 19th century. But all churches, almost every church that has built, even, even some of the more contemporary churches in Australia, have the Sacred Heart of Jesus because the Sacred Heart of Jesus really is about what we are about. We are about the love of Jesus Christ, that heart of Jesus Christ. And that's a development of what we had from yesterday's feast day of St. Teresa of Avila, who calls us to union with that heart. And then St. Margaret Mary Alico in France, a hundred years later, then starts to talk about how we're, each of us are called to experience that love of Jesus Christ every single day. And she had visions of Jesus Christ about this love and, and asked, um, in, within those visions, um, Margaret Mary was asked to, to promote a devotion to the Sacred Heart um, through statues, but also through a, um, the First Friday devotions, which we've, we've been starting here in the parish, a period of, of prayer on the first Friday of the month to dedicate it to the, the Sacred Heart. Margaret Mary had her own struggles, like St. Teresa did yesterday as well. Um, for a period of time, people thought she was a bit crazy, um, they, they thought she was a bit unusual. They, wouldn't, they didn't believe what was happening in her life. Um, as a young child, she was very sick and she was in bed for about four years, according to the writings. And during that time, towards the end of it, she made a pledge to God that if, if she was healed, um, she would dedicate her life um, to Jesus Christ as a, a religious nun. She was healed. And then she became a teenager and she forgot about that pledge that she'd made. And at that time in history, people who became nuns, they normally became nuns, they went into the convents about 15, 16, 17 years old. Margaret Mary didn't. She went off, did her own little thing for a while. And it was in her mid-twenties that God reminded her of this pledge that she'd made. 
and then from there she then um, went into religious life at the age of 24 so a lot of quite older when you think about it and then she went on that great journey to experience Jesus appearing to her um, uh, through re uh, through private revelations and then um, promoting this great love of the sacred heart when you see the sacred heart of Jesus statue in our church and other churches know that it's because of today's saint Saint Margaret Mary Alico who experienced the love of Jesus and wanted to promote and share that love with everyone let's today pray that we can experience that love of Jesus as well and that we can bring the love of Jesus to our world today Saint Margaret Mary Alico pray for us Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, for to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Let us pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin, the Blessed St. Margaret Mary, Alico, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favour in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness, and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim together, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and to drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. We pray especially for the repose of the soul of Roger Rowland and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Margaret, Mary Alico, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say together, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a distant sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Do I say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Holy Communion Antiphon. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. those participating at home, let us now welcome Jesus um, in spiritual communion and pray that we receive the graces as if we were here in the church receiving sacramental communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally at this moment, come at least spiritually, into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift. We pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the blessed Saint Margaret Mary Alico, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with yours. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass has ended. Thank you for coming. Have a wonderful day. And let us all now go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Let us pray together in honour of the Blessed Virgin Mary as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, my womb. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Margaret Mary Alico, pray for us. Our Lady, help of Christians. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever.